Greetings, Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope. So, here we are, Scorpio time of year. What's it about? It's about work, the workplace, people you like at work, people you don't like at work. It's um, about cooperating with other people in a mutual project. It's about um, taking care of your health, taking care of small pets. Um, uncle, aunts and uncles often fall in the sixth house, so aunts and uncles might appear on your radar all of a sudden. Gosh, I think all my aunts and uncles are dead. <laughs> I know, that's sad, you know. Um, we've got Venus in the um, fifth house. So, like, the love life of Gemini has gotten a little bit happier, and the creative ability of Gemini has just increased. It's multiplied. It's gotten better. So, you're doing that. I mean... The scary part is Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, all in the 8th house still. And it's like, yeah, there's a lot of control energy, things that are out of your control. And you don't necessarily like that. I get that. You know, nobody likes that. Um, but you, you have a creative fluidity at work. Um, and, you know, you're in a good position to be a coach at a football game right now. Um, I guess, you know, you... I guess you could play football in a mask. I don't know what they're doing. Um, and then, um, you know, you're in this kind of, there's some karma to this full moon. So, like, I would say you're best celebrating um, Day of the Dead, November 1st or 2nd. Just don't go out tonight or, <laughs> or, or tomorrow night. Just stay home, Gemini, okay? Yeah, it's like you, what you need, Gemini needs, is the robot from Lost in Space. Say, danger, 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 you know, so you don't do it, okay? Not that you would have listened anyhow, but... Um, 